Oh, <laughs> last night was rough. This is day three, by the way. Um, I'll, I'll try to do the condensed version, which is, uh, this is the first time I'm ever camping out in the woods, by the way. I uh, heard a lot of noises last night as usual. I don't know what it was, but yeah. Um, we're in Uray, Colorado. We heard on the way out here that like last night there's a Jeep Jamboree this weekend and it's Friday morning. And so um, we left Tomichi Pass or Tomichi Creek and <laughs> um, Put this on actually I'll sit down and uh morning <laughs> and oh, um we were gonna uh camp tonight last night obviously for two nights and no campgrounds none and you know we we were gonna book a lot of stuff in advance but then we changed the trip we actually flipped it on its head basically and so we're here at a different time than we were supposed to be initially and so uh, no campgrounds available, no hotels available, one available for 247 a night, way outside of town. Everything's booked up. Uh, we reached out to a guy on Adventure Rider who helps a lot of inmates in this area, and uh, he painstakingly took us to like seven different spots that he was sure was going to be a campsite because they're places that people don't really know to book. No. Um, so, the guys parked and Harry slept in his car, and Neil slept in his trailer. I didn't want to do either of those things, so I headed out on my own at like 9, 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m., and uh, I found this spot, the back of an old road that was blocked off by logs. There was a you know, big log wall, and so I went um, through the, with the GSA, through the woods, behind the wall, about 100 feet back, not that far from the uh, main road, and I uh, found this little spot here. And so I set the tent in the dark. And yeah, slept very well actually. Um, no cell phone service here of course, but you can see up there, that's the mountain range. Boom, pretty cool. Um, <coughs> so, you gotta meet the guys at eight. Um, I'm considering telling them I'm taking the day off. Oh, my shifter, broke my shifter. So the SW Motec um, adjustable shift lever failed me yesterday. Oh, come on. So, of all, of all the things I do, I break stuff in the worst way. So, this is meant to bend, right? That, that, of course, that, that's how that works. It's awesome. Uh, this actually held up really well. Yeah, so, shifting is hard right now. Uh, it's aluminum, so, <laughs> first attempt is gonna be bending this back. And then second attempt is going to be threading some bolts through here from the hard. I need a fulcrum point here. Yeah. This is long enough to get in there. <laughs> this is a setup, by the way, if I'm riding solo. <clears throat> um, 10 pounds miscellaneous cooking stuff, 22 pounds of camera gear, and then uh, about 15 pounds per side in stuff to live off the bike. Um, these are significantly heavier because of the, the plates that I use, the Jesse plates. Do I have my keys? Yeah, <clears throat> they were in the back of Harry's trailer. Nestled. It's like the, there's rare occasions where a mining town actually l stays around and lasts. Wow, look at this shit, man. Wow. Okay, now I want you to... All right, so we're following uh, John here to his place. Uh, I won't post any more video after this clip. I'll just post where we're camping, but that's the next step. So uh, we're parking here. We're going to cross this creek and then camp back up there. So I'm scoping it for the guys. I'll drop some things and go back down and get them.
I bet this guy is hella fast on that 500. Like insanely fast. There's the town down there. So my shifter's still broke. It's, it's 12.30, my shifter's still broken. I'm out of gas. Uh, that's about it, actually. Uh, haven't had lunch yet. There we go, there's four. And uh, so I'm just a little bit ready to just kind of get, get moving, you know? And it's been delay after delay. The past, the past 15 hours have kind of been a clusterfuck. And, um, you know, I've been, by no means am I taking out on the guys. They've done nothing wrong. Um, but I tend to just sort of, okay, well, I'm going to go. While you guys talk about it, I'm just going to go. And some people don't, don't work that way. And so uh, just little things that are, you know, people, being more, people are, are thinking things through. And I'm just like, well, I already decided, so I'm out of here. So anyway, that's where my head is right now. I need this fucking shifter fixed, and I need everyone to sort of move a little faster. And it's not happening, so I'm a little bit annoyed. So I'm sitting on a street in Ure. These guys here like, from Texas, they rolled up and said, hey, they tried to help for a few minutes. We got a hammer, we tried all kinds of things. And they were like, why don't you use your hub wrench? Why don't you put this right there and just bend it back that way? Ha, I did, ha, ha. There you go. So it won't break off, but it's so short that at least I have a little bit of a grip without, um, if I hit something else, this is going to go flying. So if I see anything that's like truly epic, <laughs> come on. I mean, this is, this is already pretty amazing. Uh, then I will, um, I I'll obviously record, but geez, I mean, there's really, every time I look around, there's something <laughs> like, I was just about to stop recording. There's a fucking tunnel. <laughs> I don't actually know how far we end today, or we are into day three right now, because I think, um, or four, I don't know what day this is, um, because I've been doing the miscellaneous recordings all morning, we're probably at 10 minutes in already, and we haven't done anything. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop recording, just taking the views. Look at this yellow water. Is it yellow because of the rocks? With the minerals? Can I drink it? I don't think I can drink this. I was told this was going to be scenic. <laughs> I didn't want to do this kind of riding today, guys. I'm just spinning. I mean, my rear wheel is just spinning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 11,000 feet. Come on, bitch. There you go. Yeah, it's actually pretty solid, um, stable ground. It's 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 wet and mushy, but it doesn't seem to move much like the clay in the south that kind of slides off under you. It's the guy that's why you stay at a. Uh, Tamichi. Yeah, it's not, you got 1200? Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> you'll probably be alright. I mean, I don't know your riding ability, but I don't... Supposedly, I'm not a very good rider, according to a couple of guys in Colorado. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah, terrible rider. She's really bad at this. The only problem with my riding is I don't stand more. It's the only real problem. And I don't really see a problem. I stand when I need to. If I need to put a lot of power to that rear wheel, I'll stand up. Like that. Holy shit. This last time I did this, they, they got pissed off at me for doing this. They said, don't do this again. Well, that wasn't as steep as the last one I did. This is a corkscrew pass that we're looking at. Those are the guys down there. I rode this big ass hill again against their recommendation, but this time I didn't drop the bike. And yeah, this is um, man, it was just it was, <laughs> this is probably my favorite pass that we did, just because of the bright red rock that you'll see when we pass over here. You look at this. I mean, it's, that red color is just such. It's so cool, and that's what's making all the uh, the creeks yellow. That's me in the very middle there. <laughs> I guess I could have gone further, but I didn't. I wasn't quite sure what was ahead of me. Wow, look at it though. Isn't that amazing? Hey! I underestimated what Jeep Jamboree meant. <laughs> Severely underestimated the, the, the definition. The, you have the open Webster's. Jeep Jamboree. She translates directly to a fuckload of Jeeps. <laughs> right, we've been rained on for a while now, but we are uh, going into Silverton for lunch. It's uh, 4.34. <laughs> that was fun. That was a good time. I had a big salad. First salad in like a week. That felt really good. Um... Yeah. I'm happy. All right, it's night time, heading back to the campsite. I, uh, by matter of chance, met up with a guy who runs a, uh, I guess a motorcycle tour company called West 38 Moto. I didn't meet the guy, I meet this group of people who are, uh, oh, bumps here, who are um, doing a Colorado backcountry discovery route, and I guess he's doing a tour, a tour of it. Uh, it was like 20 people. A lot of people to do it. That's a lot of people. I would not want to manage a tour of that size. Um, so. Yeah, that was pretty, I mean, it was interesting to, to meet people when they were all exhausted. Obviously, it's 9 p.m. And they're doing the same engineer pass that we're doing tomorrow. 
Um, which should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, someone told me in that group that uh, I told them that I did a pass called the Corkscrew today, which it was supposed to be a scenic. That was the scenic ride, the Harry Pig, was Corkscrew. And, uh, and I was upset only because, like, it wasn't scenic. It was a little bit more work than I wanted it to be. And then one of the guys was like, you did Corkscrew on that GS? Wasn't it raining today? And I said, yeah. He goes, wait a second. It was, like, really raining. Like, mud and clay. I, I said, yeah. He says, wow, you're, you must be a really good rider. <laughs> All right. But according to everyone I need more training so I guess I'll go get more training oh is Neil still working hey you still working yeah. you want help I can't, I, he was finishing up some, uh, he said his, his, his KTM 790's uh, fuel box, a fuel tank, is, um, there we go, is um, not venting properly. Turns out it's a, kind of a common issue with these things where they, the little plastic tiny thing about like an eighth of an inch in diameter gets clogged and it stops venting. So his, his, basically his fuel tank was like, not showing bulbous, it was bulbous scene. It was like, you know, full of, dude, back there. Come on. Where are you, dude? Don't say you dropped it. Did you drop it? Um, so it wasn't venting properly, so he had to like open it up. And so he basically cleaned those things out and it's all good now. So I lied. More, more filming. But I thought this day was kind of short on uh, pretty clips, so I have to kind of make up for it with some fast-paced night riding. Thanks to the Clearwater, Erica, Savina, and Darla combo. I guess this is kind of a hard thing to ride on, isn't it? Oh, I should have cut over, shouldn't I? Oops. Um, I guess this is kind of a hard incline to ride on, but it feels fun to actually go super fast on it. Oh, well, super fast, like 20, but this is pretty jagged. I screwed up that line. My body bounce is all off. I was pushing right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut this off now. I know it's probably a 25 minute vlog at this point. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the long day of pain and suffering, hunger, dehydration, sleeping stealth in the national forest without any rangers knowing I was there, um, fixing my broken shift lever, doing corkscrew, getting some good drone footage, and, uh, and then riding home at night after being told that I'm an amazing rider by someone who I think is an amazing rider. So, that was pretty cool. This thing just, it's a little tractor, isn't it? Oh, I hate this little part right here though. This part sucks. Yeah, I almost stalled it. Yeah, I hate that part. I second guessed myself. I really shouldn't have. I'll wait for him. All right guys, rock on. Take care.